Hello everyone, I am Pragya Shivastava, an uh, educator on Unacademy. Follow me on Unacademy Learning app to view my many more courses. And in this lesson, we will be studying about Canal Fall. In the previous lesson, we have been studying about it, but we will continue our studies to see the different types of falls. So here you see it's a trapezoidal notch fall. And let's see how it looks. This is your trapezoidal shape, and you can see here a trapezoidal notch fall is like this, and it consists of number of trapezoidal notches constructed on a high crested wall across the channel with a smooth entrance and a flat circular lip projecting downstream from each notch to spread out the falling jet. So here what you can see this is your notch and this is the cell of the notch. These are the side walls here and here in these type of falls the energy is dissipated by turbulent diffusion. The notches are designed to maintain normal water depth in the upstream channel at any two discharges as variation in the discharges is actually very negligible, very small. There is neither drawdown nor heading up of water. And, and channel approaches the fall. It is very popular, simple and very economical type of fall. There is one more which is called straight glacis fall. Here what you can see this is your uh, straight sloping glacis. There is a concrete bed, this is your concrete bed, this is a stone pitching, curtain walls in both upstream and downstream side. This you, here you can see a crest, small crest here, it is going up and then coming down. Then here in the downstream side as well you can see a small uh, dip. Then again it gets raised up. This type of fall is called straight glacis fall. This type of modern fall a straight glacis is provided after a raised crest. This is called your raised crest. Usually slope of the glacis is 2 is to 1 and the hydraulic jump is made to occur on the glacis causing sufficient energy dissipation. Here the energy dissipation occurs here and it is a, it is a suitable up to a discharge of 60 cumex and 1.5 meter drops. And we have one more type which we call monte type fall. The difference here is that this uh, raised crest is here you can see and then it takes a parabolic path. And here in this type of fall, the problem of considerable residual energy below hydraulic jump is solved. How? By giving the parabolic shape. This parabolic shape is actually also called Montek profile to the glacis. Now, uh, it is done. This Montague profile is actually given so that maximum horizontal acceleration is imparted to the flowing water in a given length of glacis. The equation of this Montague profile is found out and it is actually equal to x is equal to u under root 4y upon g plus y. g is your force of gravitation and u is a vertical distance from the crest. Now, it is not very frequently used 
require being very costly and uh, it is very difficult to form the shape of curve. The curve shape is very difficult to construct. There is one more tie that is English fall also called Bayfell fall. What you see here is this uh, as you can see a raised crest here as well. Then it comes down and after this you can see these uh, there are small Bayfell falls. These are called Bayfell walls. This is straight sloping glaciers over a concrete bed, curtain walls and stone pitching. Here the straight glaciers type fall is added with a Bayfell platform and Bayfell walls. Bayfell platform and Bayfell walls. Bayfell walls. It is suitable for all discharges and drops which are more than 1.5 meter and it uses horizontal impact to dissipate the energy. The maximum dissipation of energy takes place when hydraulic jam forms at the two of the glaciers. The cistern and deflection downstream of Bayfell are mean to restore normal distribution of velocities to the channel. They can be flumed easily. Now let's see what do we mean by saying this cistern. What is your cistern? Let's see. Cistern. Cistern is that portion of the fall downstream of the crest crest wall where the surplus energy of water leaving the crest is destroyed. A cistern element consists of cistern, a roughness devices and some device for deflecting the high velocity z. And the object the object of providing cistern is to reduce intensity of impact of the dropping set against the downstream flow and then to provide a cushion to destroy the energy of the drop and to produce reverse flow by providing a suitable end wall to ensure an impact in cistern. So this is what well, this is all about and we will be learning more about these canal regulators uh, like that of uh, head regulators and cross regulators and then canal scape in our next lesson till meanwhile you please go through these questions and understand the different types of canal falls and till meanwhile keep studying.